Elon Musk has at last discussed nuclear energy. We are all aware of nuclear energy's potential for producing fuel, electricity, and other forms of energy, and we are also aware of its serious safety concerns. On the other side, Elon Musk is developing a transportable nuclear power plant. This microreactor is a lightweight, cost-effective power generator, unlike anything we have ever seen. The world's first transportable nuclear reactor, which can be quickly set up in cities and supply power to remote regions, was created by former SpaceX employees. Are you curious to understand more about this development, Elon Musk's work on nuclear reactors, and how it can help us conquer Mars? Welcome to Zone Tech. In this video, we are going to talk about Elon Musk who built an insane nuclear reactor in seven days. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. Nuclear energy is also a hot topic at SpaceX Elon Musk's space company. Additionally, there are still ambitions to settle Mars, which calls for a transportable energy source. Elon Musk disagrees with the conventional wisdom and thinks that current nuclear power plants are secure. He asserts that he genuinely believes nuclear power can be engineered to be extremely safe and that it would focus on fission rather than fusion as we might have anticipated. The method employed in typical nuclear reactors is called nuclear fission, and it involves a neutron smashing into a larger atom and dividing it into two smaller atoms, which releases energy in a fission reaction and the opposite of fission, in which smaller atoms hit and fuse to produce a larger atom, is fusion, which also releases energy. The sun produces energy through a process known as fusion. Some claim that fusion is a safer method of producing nuclear energy than fission, because among other things, fusion does not produce long-lasting radioactive waste, while fission does. On the other side, Elon Musk has long supported the usage of nuclear energy. Elon Musk did not elaborate on how nuclear power plants might be made incredibly safe though. However, Radiant, a company created by former SpaceX engineers, is developing the first portable zero-emission power source that can easily be installed in crowded regions and also supply power to remote locations. Nuclear reactors will soon be able to be transported much more easily because of radiation technology that is still under development. Portable nuclear power is developing. Radiant claims that its microreactor, which is currently in the prototype stage, has a capacity of producing more than 1 megawatt, which would be sufficient to supply electricity to 1,000 households for up to 8 years. It can be easily transported by air, sea, and land, providing accessible energy and lowering reliance on fossil fuels in areas with limited access to renewable energy sources. Radiant CEO Doug Bernard develops energy alternatives for a potential Mars colony while working for SpaceX. During his research into microreactors for Mars, he saw a potential for creating a flexible, affordable power source here on Earth, which inspired him and two other SpaceX engineers to co-found Radiant. According to Bernauer, many of the microreactors that are being developed are fixed location devices. Since no one has yet created a commercial system, there is competition to be the first. To power their industries, businesses, homes, and offices, governments all over the world place high importance on energy security. However, energy is limited in supply, and renewable energy sources won't be widely used for many years. To solve this issue, Radiant is continuously developing a portable nuclear microreactor. People in rural areas should be able to immediately access energy if they need it since the generators require continuous fuel delivery along rural roads. This technique makes it possible for microreactors to be remotely monitored in centralized fueling and maintenance, which enables microgrids to function without suffering any long-term effects. Due to its limited power, however, the tiny nuclear reactor won't be used extensively. Normal output of a single wind turbine is 3 to 6 megawatts, whereas the microreactor has a maximum output of 1 megawatt. According to Radiant, each microreactor unit may function for up to 8 years and generate over 1 electricity, which is enough to power over 1,000 homes. According to the business, their design is a clean energy substitute for fossil fuels for both commercial and military uses. Energy Information Administration, nuclear energy currently accounts for around 20% of all energy generated in the U.S. The science behind traditional fission nuclear energy has evolved. For example, Bill Gates launched Terra Power, a modern nuclear corporation aiming to develop the technology of existing power plants. Despite this, 
there is significant hostility to nuclear power. Opponents of nuclear power contend that despite technological breakthroughs, there are still risks associated with it and that concentrating on renewable energy sources like wind and solar is a more effective solution when compared to a solar power plant that produces the same amount of electricity. The solar facility would need battery backup to provide comparably dispatchable output, which would be a highly expensive alternative. These reactors will take up less area and will be able to generate at any time of day or night in overcast or clear conditions. Last year, Radiant reported that its portable nuclear reactor technology had been granted two provisional patents. One is for a device that reduces the time and money needed to refuel their reactor, while the other improves the efficiency of heat transfer from the reactor core. The enhanced particle fuel utilized in the microreactor won't melt and can withstand temperatures higher than those of conventional nuclear fuels. Meanwhile, the corrosion and contamination risk associated with conventional water coolant is diminished by helium coolant. Radiant has agreed to let Battle Energy Alliance's Idaho National Laboratory INAL Radiant test its portable microreactor technology in places where fossil fuel power generators are commonly employed, such as isolated military camps and remote Arctic communities. Microreactors can be used. Because it does not require routine fuel delivery, the portable microreactor is not only more practical, but also better for the environment. On the other hand, Radiant microreactors use clean fuel that can last up to four years. If Radiant's test campaign is successful, nuclear electricity might be operational shortly. As a result, it will help power numerous isolated settlements and support the return of nuclear power. People generally view nuclear energy as being exceedingly risky in a world that is in critical need of sustainable energy options. As a result, we might start to ask what the dangers of placing one of these reactors next to a home are. When Dougat Bernauer was asked how radiant reactors differed from traditional water-cooled reactors, he replied, it's a lot different. He stated that the reactors will not be used in anyone's backyard and that utilities will only install them where there is widespread public support. They also use TRISO fuel, a meltdown-proof fuel consisting of poppy seed-sized capsules enclosing small fuel grains. If any of these particles fall to the ground, they can be easily picked up because they don't melt. Helium, which is unusual in that it doesn't degrade into radioactive stuff, is also used by them as a cooling. Helium leakage wouldn't matter much, but leaks from recently built molten salt reactors and older water-cooled reactors would be hazardous and damage the environment. He said, I'm almost there, when asked how close he was to release the products onto the market. The reactors are expected to be available in 2028, according to Doug Bernauer, and in five years they should have a fueled protest. Radiant will continue to be a manufacturer of portable and nuclear reactors. In 10 years, they should have 25 units operational and be developing a new design. They are just working on the Kaleidos reactor and have no other items in the works. In places without access to a regular power grid, diesel has long been the fuel of choice for powering generators. Transporting fuel is a huge additional difficulty. The Radiance Micro Reactor has the potential to transform both routine and emergency energy production. Anywhere individuals wish to go, they can use portable reactors. You can clean the air or water and grow food if you have power. What else can be said about these developments in life support other than to be impressed and hopeful for them? So that's it for today. What do you think of our video? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and would like to hear more from us, please subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications before you go. Thank you for watching.